Appliances and lighting combined account for one-fifth of the energy used in your home, but some appliances use more energy than others do. Electric showers, um, kettles, believe it or not, um, tumble dryers, hair dryers, all those things that heat up quickly, they're going to use a lot of electricity. There are steps you can take to reduce the energy being used and save money. Obviously, if you can use the microwave over the oven, do. It's more energy efficient. But if you are using your oven, make sure you cook in batches. So, you know, you're getting that value. Also, don't leave your oven door open. Make sure you close it. If the fridge door is open, even only for 20 seconds, it takes 45 minutes for it to go back to its original temperature. So close it as quickly as possible. Defrost your freezer regularly so there's no build-up of ice. That can make your freezer work harder. Put your dishwasher on with a full load, a low temperature and an eco setting. Only boil the kettle with the amount of water that you need. Use a lower temperature for your washing machine and wait until you have a full load before turning it on. Avoid using a tumble dryer if at all possible. If the weather allows, hang your washing outdoors. If you look at your thermostat, what we would recommend is have the temperature in your living areas at around 20 degrees. In the likes of bedrooms, you can have it a little bit cooler, between 15 to 18 degrees. And that 1% drop in temperature can actually reduce your monthly energy bills by 10%. Turn radiators down or off in rooms that aren't used and it's important to close the doors to keep the heat in. When replacing your bulbs, use a low energy LED light instead, especially in rooms you use a lot, like a living room or a kitchen. Don't leave your appliances on standby mode because they can use 20% of the energy they would consume when turned on. So as well as turning your TV off like this, also turn it off with the plug socket. And don't charge your phone at night time while you're in bed. It may only take one hour to fully charge, not seven or eight hours while you sleep. Diane Connor, RTE News.